A tragedy that shook the city. It was September 2018 when a well-known and well-respected business leader was murdered. Police say two young men and a 16-year-old girl were riding around downtown that night looking for someone to rob when they saw Greater Memphis Chamber CEO Phil Trenary walking home from an event. They ended up shooting him. All three were later arrested for first-degree murder. And according to court documents we uncovered, the teenage girl, Rickanisha Wright, identified the two men she was with and herself as the individuals responsible for the attempted robbery. Three months later, she walked free. Juvenile court staff says they weren't at liberty to discuss what happened. They told us to contact family. We're channel three. So we did. We went to the address listed on court records. A woman answered the door and told us she's Wright's mother. She says after a closed door meeting in December 2018, her daughter was allowed to go home but had to wear an ankle monitor for six months. Since then, she told us Wright has been doing well until May of this year. Police linked Wright to this shooting in South Memphis. Court documents state Wright got into a fight with a guy over money. It turned physical. The next day, she and her brother were seen walking down the street by this woman who didn't want to be identified. He had on a white hood, a long sleeve hood in the middle of the summertime. 100 degree heat and he walked like he was coming towards her and I asked him, I said, what you finna do, try to rob her? Moments later, investigators say Wright started vigorously flagging down the guy she got into a fight with the day before. He was driving his 2003 green Honda Accord on South Cooper Street. He slowed down and Wright's brother pulled a handgun from his waistband and shot the guy in the back. We thought he was shooting at us. We jumped down behind our truck because we had said something to him. A few weeks later, Wright was taken into custody and charged with attempted first degree murder. And Wright remains locked up. Her mother tells us she was eight months pregnant at the time of the arrest and recently gave birth while she was incarcerated. She also told us her brother, who is 15 years old, was also arrested just days after he was injured in a separate shooting. As for the Trenary case, the chamber told us today, out of respect for the family and the judicial process, it would be inappropriate for us to comment on the case at this time. The case is set to go to trial at the end of the year. Jessica Gartler, WREG News Channel 3. Now, Wright's cousin is one of the men facing trial for Trenary's murder. His family claims that he has a low IQ, but the state ruled that he is competent to stand trial. We'll keep you updated on those cases.